Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So I've got this raised bed here that we just installed exactly two weeks ago on the 8th, and today is the 22nd. And I added a bunch of compost to the dirt, and then I tilled it in, and then we covered it with a tarp. So I took off the tarp, and I'm gonna go ahead and till this once more in. I'm gonna wet it, and we're gonna cover it for another two weeks, and this should be good to plant. All right, and I've got this little hand tiller. It works really well especially for loose soil. When the soil gets compacted, it's a little bit difficult, but I'm looking at this, it's super dark dirt. It might have already broken down to what I needed. The thing is, when you add a tarp onto soil and let the sun beat down on it, it warms it up and helps those microbes break down all of that much quicker. So. I have a feeling this might almost be ready to plant now, but we are going to wait at least a at least a week. It might only have to be one week instead of two here. Now, whenever you're adding new dirt to a raised bed, just installing a raised bed, you know, it's always a good idea to add compost and do this. However, you could also do this at the end of the year after plants have grown in it and that will rejuvenate the soil. So, for instance, when you're done planting, which this I actually did recently plant, but when you're done planting and you've got the bare soil, usually that soil is pretty much spent. All the nutrients have been sucked out of it from whatever you're growing in it. So for instance, here I'll do that. I'll add the compost, turn it in, and wait. And depending on how fresh that compost is. If it's broken down enough, you could plant right away, or you could wait for a couple weeks, which that's what I did here. So the compost that I threw in was compost that I already had. Let me take you out to my compost bins here. All right, so as you can see, I've got compost. A lot of it is hay because it comes from the chicken coops, but we also throw veggies and you know stuff from our kitchen in here as well. But it's mostly hay with chicken poop in it, and that really needs about at least six weeks, which it always gets at six weeks in the bins here. Um, that one is going to be sitting for a little while. I got to turn it and then I can throw, use that and throw it into my other raised beds. This one is brand new. We just started this one. Even if you let it sit for six weeks, especially when you're dealing with any kind of animal manure, personally, I'm not sure if it's necessarily needed, but personally, I like to let it sit in the bed as well for a little while, because even though you throw it in, it's six weeks and it's about the time that they say I want to give it a little bit longer since I am growing veggies in here I'm eating this so I don't want any transfer of disease onto my food and adding a tarp over it helps heat it up especially right now we're in November so it's not quite as warm as it was in the summer but that tarp is going to do a couple things one it's going to keep from the sun bleaching the top of the soil which is going to kill any of the microbes on the top so it's almost like adding a layer of mulch but two, it's gonna keep this warmer. So I use a dark brown tarp, and what that's gonna do is gonna keep the sun beating on it, so if you're in cooler weather, like we are now, it's gonna keep this warmer. So next, I'm just gonna turn this. Now, if this was soil that uh, you're redoing a bed with, you already had it in there, you might not wanna turn this as much. You might wanna to try to do the no-till gardening technique keep those microbes from you know soil life from getting disturbed but this is a brand new bed so this is all brand new dirt so i am a little less worried about that and i just want to make sure that this compost is all breaking down because the compost right on top not going to break down the same way as it would underneath. Well, check that out. I stabbed him, but a big old grub. There we go. Now they're going to fight over it. Pretty funny to watch. All right, one last thing is. Try to even the soil out. And this does really well at doing that. 
Now it's nice and even on top. I'm going to go ahead and water this down. Now it is very important to water it because it needs to be moist. The wetter it is, the faster the decomposition. I mean, within reason. Soaking wet, it'll tend to, to sit and rot. But I want to keep this nice and moist. Now that tarp is going to help keep this from evaporating as fast. Next, we'll go ahead and put the tarp back on. We got a problem with some rippage on this one. It's older. So this tarp is ripping. Boy, my chickens are losing it over there. So this tarp is ripping. I only had it for one season, but they were like 10 bucks for the tarp. So $10, I mean, it is what it is. Probably should have gotten better tarp, but throughout the whole summer here, I mean, it gets real hot and we had some hot sun beating down on it. So kind of expected. What are you guys doing? Why are we freaking out? What? Okay. So my wife's here helping. All right, so we are, how did we do it last time? Yeah, here, but we need both sides, right? Yeah, that's super good. Get this side down. Yeah, that side's already in. Thank you, honey. <laughs>